program, and welcome to the exciting world of HIP. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake up call. It's Tuesday, July 20th, 2010. Check this out. Two new strategies are working to fight AIDS in Africa. HIV affects more women in Africa because men rarely use protection and many parents sell their young daughters in a cash for sex transaction. So giving families a stipend and giving women a gel to use is proven quite effective. BP is thinking about permanently sealing the well in the Gulf of Mexico with heavy mud, something known as a static kill or bullheading, just in case it comes up in cocktail conversation. Add PS scientists say the gas seeping along the ocean floor near the cat gusher has nothing to do with the well being sealed. It's just nature's way of relieving her indigestion along the seafloor. President Obama is hosting Britain's new Prime Minister, David Cameron, at the White House. Lindsay Lohan is expected to check in for her reservation at the Gray Bar Hotel today. It's a 90-day stay at the same lockup where Paris Hilton, Michelle Rodriguez, and Nicole Richie spent some quality time. She'll be given a prison jumpsuit, a swag bag of prison regulation beauty products, and asked to turn over her cell phone. If you are hearing Christmas music at your favorite store, do not be alarmed. It is the latest marketing trend, Christmas in July. Stores including Target, Sears, and JCPenney are trying to get a jump start by pushing early Christmas shopping. Just 157 shopping days left. And Mel Gibson's ex was offered 15 million bucks to keep quiet and lose the audio tapes. TMZ claimed she was never paid because she wanted a shorter agreement in case she wanted to go public. Here's your national weather forecast of your thunderstorms across the central plains to the Ohio Valley. Same goes for the northeast from the Great Lakes to Maryland. Humid and miserably hot in the southeast and scattered rain across the desert southwest. That is your Tuesday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I will ring you in the morning.